Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your PlayStation 5 controller on your PlayStation 5. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. Now for this, it is also important that you have your PlayStation controller connected via USB. So for this, I would recommend using the controller that came with your PlayStation 5 or another cable if you're sure it uses data. So normally the easiest way to update your PlayStation 5 controller is just to turn on your PlayStation 5. And normally you should get this pop-up when there's a new wireless controller device software available. Now sadly, if you're like me and you don't always want to update at the exact time, you will come to notify me after 24 hours and you will then have to wait 24 hours to actually update this device. Sadly, there's no way in the settings to just go in and manually update. Instead, we're going to be doing a small workaround trick where we're going to be playing with the date and time on our PlayStation. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do that. So what we're going to be doing once we're on our dashboard is we're going to be doing one of two things. We're going to be disconnecting the Ethernet cable from the back of our PlayStation if we're using a wired connection. Otherwise, if you're using a wireless connection like me, we're going to be manually disabling our Internet. To this, what we're going to be doing is clicking up one and we're going to be going to the settings here on the top right of our PlayStation. We're going to be opening up the network tab right here. We're going to be coming down to settings and we're just going to click X here on this option to connect the internet, which is basically going to turn off our internet connection. So we will no longer be on the internet on our PlayStation. From this point, we're going to be clicking back out of here. We're going to be coming back to our settings overview. We're going to be coming to system. We're going to be coming to date and time. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be manually changing our date and time. We're going to be clicking this open. We're going to be clicking set manually. And here what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting our date and time to one day before where we currently are. So at the moment, it's currently 10 July 2021. What I'm going to be doing is clicking X here and I'm going to be changing it to 9 July 2021. Or you can go back two days if you want to be safe. And this is basically going to reset our PlayStation back a day or two. What we need to do is come here, click X, click OK. And what we're going to be doing is restarting our console. Again, click your PlayStation button. We're going to be coming down to power. We're going to be clicking this and we're going to be clicking restart PS5. Now, from this point, you'll be brought back to your dashboard. What we're going to be doing from this point is we're going to be clicking up and we're going to be going back to our settings again here on the top right. We're going to be clicking the X button to open this up. We're going to be coming back into our network settings. And what we're going to be doing is enabling our Internet again. Now, once this is done, it's going to reset our Internet connection. We're then going to be coming back to system. We're going to be coming to date and time again. And now our date and time should be automatically updated to the correct time. However, if it's not, we can come back here to click set date and time and you can click set using Internet, which will automatically reset it to the current time. But basically what we've just done is now we've reset our PlayStation from one day before to a day ahead. So it'll basically automatically give us our pop up on the next restart. So what we need to do from this point is restart our PlayStation one more time. And this time, once we restart our PS5, we should get the update pop up so we can actually update our controller. So now once you log back in, you should get this pop up on screen, wireless controller device setup. All we need to do from this point is make sure we click update now. And now from this point, our controller will start to manually update. It is a little bit annoying and I hope Sony will improve this in the future by adding a manual update in the settings rather than just a 24 hour update notification. I think it's a little bit weird and I don't think it's enough to actually be able to help people update their controller. However, this is a workaround for the moment and it does work really well. And if you want to support the channel, feel free to click the join button. You can become a member of the channel for as little as one euro. It'll really help out the channel and push more videos in the future. You can click the join button right underneath any video on the channel to join the channel. And it's really easy to do. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to update your PlayStation 5 controller on your PlayStation 5. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal. If you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always. Keep it saucy. Peace.